Hi, everyone. I'm back with another question from Young and Freeman's university textbook, university physics textbook. And today I don't have the captions on because I believe that YouTube automatically does them for me. So there's, it's not necessary to have captions on twice. Let's get started. A flower pot falls off a windowsill and passes the window of the story below. Ignore air resistance. It takes the pot 0 0.380 meters to meter. It takes the pot 0 0.380 seconds, not meters, to pass from the top to the bottom of this window, which is 1.90 meters high. How far is the top of the window below the windsill from which the flower pot, flower pot fell? Oh my god. So this question is a little bit tricky just because I feel like it's such a riddle. And if we just break this down into smaller parts, if we draw out a diagram, and if we write down our, our knowns and unknowns, this question will be so much easier for us. So let's get started and do that. I'm going to go ahead and draw a building. And then we're going to um, break the question down into parts. All right. So let's make this window one. And let's make this window two. There we go. And it takes the pot 0 0.380 seconds. And the difference from the difference in distance from the top to the bottom of the window is 1.90 meters. So for this range or this window, it takes this flower pot 0 0.380 seconds to travel through it. And the distance it takes is 1.90 meters. And the distance it travels is 1.90 meters, right? Now, how far is the top of the window below the windowsill? So how far is this? Actually, I'm just going to use a different color just so that we can um, understand that a little bit better. So that green, how far is the top of the window below the windowsill from which the flower pot fell? So if our flower pot is this red flower pot right here, and let's just pretend this is directly on the ledge. Um, it's not just floating in the middle of the air. So we want to know what is this distance right here. So I'm just going to draw that again on the side in this green. What is this distance right here? And this diagram is not to scale. So now let's go down. Uh, let's go write down our knowns and unknowns. Okay. So there are five kind of parameters we have for both these um, parts. So let's start from red. So for this portion, we know that the time it takes is 0 0.380 seconds. We know that the distance is, we know that the distance is 1.80 meters. And we know that the acceleration is due to gravity, so it's going to be negative 9.80 meters per second squared. What we don't know is VI and VF. But really, we're, we only really need one of these. And let's, let's figure out why we want to know, we want to know one of these. So one before, okay, so one thing that we know is that the starting velocity here, right, so the VI here, or starting speed here, is going to be the final speed as it falls off the ledge for this portion, just for this green portion right here, for the, this green, the VF, VI is going to equal to VF, right? So now let's go ahead and write down our unknowns and knowns for this green portion. We know that if the flower pot fell, it has to start from a speed of zero meters per second. The distance it travels is what we're trying to find out. That's what's interesting to us and what the question is asking. 
And we know that acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.80 meters per second squared. And we know that BF for this is equal to VI for this portion. The red VI, right? So this VI is not the same. This VI is not the same as this VI. Right, and that makes sense because if flower pot falls at zero, at this point, it's going to be VF of the green portion, but VI of the red portion. So for this part, we have to solve for this part to get this part, to get this D. So once we solve for the red portion, we can get our VI. And we don't really need VF. Not interesting to us. Um, and then we can use this VI to plug into the VF. And then again, we have three knowns and one unknown, and we can use our kinematic equations. So for the red, the kinematic equation that we're going to use is this one right here. It's going to be D is equal to VI T plus half of AT squared. And we're interested in finding what the i is. So it's going to be d minus half of a t squared is equal to the i t. Then we have d minus half of a t squared over t is equal to the i. So let's plug in our values. over t, and that is equal to vi, as we said. I'm going to punch this into my calculator. And the value that I'm getting is vi is equal to 6.862 meters per second. So again, that is the speed at this point. And now we can plug that in right here. So our VF is equal to, for the green portion, it's equal to 6.862 meters per second. And now again, we're going to use, now we have three knowns and one unknown, and we're going to solve for D. And the equation we're going to use here is VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2AD. And we're interested in D, so it's going to be VF squared minus VI squared over 2A is equal to D. Once we plug in the values, we get And plugging it into my calculator, the D I'm getting is 2.4, is the distance from the top of the window cell to the bottom of the window cell. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.